Hey, Kurt Scott, back again to talk to you about the right bike for your nine to 10 year old child. Like we always say, we want to buy bikes on the birthdays. So at that ninth birthday, most of the time, your child's probably ready to be done with their 24 inch wheel and step up to something bigger. But what is the right wheel size at that point? It's hard to say, honestly. You've got 26 inch wheels, 27 and a half inch wheels, and 29 inch wheels to choose from. It's not necessarily about the wheel size as it is more about the frame fit. So let me show you what I mean. This bike here is a 27 and a half inch wheel bike. It might at first glance seem to you that your child isn't ready for an adult wheel size and that's what 27 and a half is. But this bike is a double extra small frame. So if you notice, it's really low to the ground. Meaning that, yeah, your nine-year-old child probably can sit on this bike and put their feet on the ground. Once a child can put their tippy toes on the ground on the next size wheel, we usually are starting to recommend that they go to that bigger wheel size. As long as they have, you know, basic confidence on a bike and they feel really, you know, generally capable as a rider. But just because you're looking at a double extra small frame, it doesn't mean the bike is going to fit your child right away. We take the extra time here at Buddy Pegs to make sure that other adjustments are made so that it really fits all around. If you notice here, this is called your stem that holds your handlebars. We've lowered this down to the lowest position and put these spacers above the stem. That brings the handlebars down closer to the seat so that a child's not on a new bike riding ape hangers. We've also taken the time to move the brake levers in a lot closer and adjust the brake levers and the shifters so they fit the smaller hands. So extra, extra small 27 and a half inch wheel is a great wheel size for a lot of nine and 10 year old kids. This bike here has a front suspension fork, which is another decision to be made. Do you go with suspension or not? I strongly recommend at least front suspension on the you know, 27 and a half inch wheel bike or above um, because it creates a lot more control out on the trail. You hit some rocks and some roots out on the trail and the suspension fork, this part right here, that allows activation, it allows the wheel to maintain traction with the ground. So if you hit a bump, the uh, suspension fork moves and the bike keeps tracking the way that the rider wants it to track. Now at this wheel size, you also can be thinking about full suspension. Full suspension means that you've got a shock in the back that allows the back wheel to move up and down and a shock in the front that allows the front wheel to move up and down. Full suspension bikes are a lot of fun, but they're also safer. So if you have a child or even yourself, if you're riding a little bit more aggressively or even just riding trails that have a lot more roots and bumps and rocks and terrain features, a full suspension bike will keep the bike going in the direction you want it to go in. Without the back suspension, sometimes the bike can deflect off of a rock or a root, change direction, and just you know feel not as safe. Also, if you're jumping or your child is jumping, a full suspension bike is gonna allow them to land a little bit crooked sometimes. If they didn't quite stick the landing, and the, uh, the suspension will correct for them and kind of keep them going in the right direction. So a full suspension is a great way to increase the enjoyment of the ride, increase the safety of the ride, and yeah, you also increase the cost of the bike for sure. But keep in mind that a full suspension bike maintains its value in the long run more than just a front suspension bike. So while you might spend a little bit more money on the front end, later on when you're going to resell this bike, you're gonna get a lot more money back in that used market than if it's just a front suspension fork bike. A couple other small features to think about, a dropper seat post so that with the push of a button, the seat can stay down or pop back up. Really great for going downhill and getting the seat out of the way. Or for a smaller rider getting up to that next big wheel size, they can lower the seat down and easily get on and off the bike. Disc brakes, just like a car or a motorcycle, create a lot more safety on the trail because it takes a lot less pressure to squeeze the brake lever and have that brake activate. So we strongly recommend disc brakes at this wheel size. And then gearing. You wanna look for a really big set of gears on the back of the bike and one chain ring up front. The single chain ring up front 
takes away the front derailleur, it takes away a lot of hassle, a lot of failed adjustments that always you know, create a lot of noise and a lot of complication on the bike. But in order to go to that one chain ring up front, you need to have a really big range of gears back here. So look for a really big set of gears so that you've got all the climbing gears and the go fast gears without the need for a front derailleur. Okay, there you have it. Some bike options for your nine and 10 year old child. Uh, there's so many to choose from. We'd love to talk to you more about it and point you in the right direction, find the right bike for you. So come on down to Buddy Pegs. And until then, keep your thumbs up and the rubber side down.